I've been asked to do a lot of DIY videos and today I'm laying laminate at 30 weeks pregnant. So it's definitely not as hard as it looks. I'll post a list of things that you need and I'll show you how to fit the laminate. So I've gone for the Superior and it's the Swish Corona. Swish Corona. Um, in summer oak natural and it's a click system so what that means is you don't need any glues nails um, or anything else to stick it together it will just click into place as I will show you so as you can see I've already laid some of the flooring down so what you'd have to do is get your piece of laminate now I'm doing it so that the the edge this flat edge goes towards where I have been laying it and you literally just slide it and then get a spacer so what you need to do is you need to leave enough space at the end so that in the winter it can uh, shrink and in the summer it can expand otherwise it will buckle so laminate should be a floating floor and never actually touch the walls so that's what the spacers are for and then you slide it in put it down and that's in place. You'll then come to the end where the next full slat does not fit. It is too big. So you will have to cut that down to size. The best way is to get a tape measure. Measure from your laminate to the wall. This is 71 and a half. So what I will do is I will cut 71 to leave enough space at the end for it to be expanded and shrunk depending on weather conditions. Once you have found out what length you need, make sure that you cut the side that the length you need that will adjoin onto the next piece as each side has a different fitting as you can see there's that type of fitting one side and that type the other the top is also different to the bottom so they can only fit one way mark on the back the length you need with a pen mine's always in my hair and then cut. Now you can either do this with a table saw or a hand saw or a jigsaw. I have a table saw as it is much easier. With a table saw, do not lean over it. Do not stand in front of it. Watch your fingers and make sure that you wear something covering your eyes as it does get a little dusty. So this is my piece I've cut to 71 and a half centimetres. The half a centimetre will allow for this lip to go underneath the laminate and still give the expansion space at the side. So what you do is you listen for the clicks. Then it goes and it's all fitted. So the piece that you've just cut will also have a flat edged side. This is the piece that you would use on your next row with your spacer in between the wall and your laminate and that's ready for the next row to do exactly the same thing until you're finished so at some point you'll get to a corner where the laminate is too wide to fit so you're going to have to trim it down what bit needs trimming is this bit needs removing which is here and we need to find out how big that is. So the way I've found the easiest is to slot it into place and then mark where it would need to be cut. Then I take the same piece and I slide it up to where I'd need it, which is here. So as you can see, this area, once you draw the lines across and down, the area scribbled out will be the bit that's cut away. So as you can see, this is the square that I need to remove. So I will use my table saw to cut to this line. 
remove it and then use the table saw to cut along this line and this part will just fall out so as you can see there's the area that was put on and now when i slide it in you will see there is enough gap around in order to fit the spacer and it leaves the expansion room.